All right, this is gonna be unboxing the Cooler Master MWE 500 Bronze. Uh, this is a kind of more budget uh, power supply. I think I paid around $65 for this. And I kinda wanna compare this to kind of some of the lower end EVGA. So I've got like a white 500 watt um, we can take a look at and compare, and then I'm gonna get a bronze EVGA too. But let's take a look and see what's inside the box of this Cooler Master. Ooh, I like some of Cooler Master's cases. This would be the first power supply I've ever um, used from them, but I'm gonna test it out in a budget build. So let's see what's in the box. User manual, always important. Power supply, cable. Power the power supply. And now we've got the, all the different connectors. So motherboard, CPU, looks like some SATA connectors. So let's go ahead and unbundle these. So in these lower end uh, power supplies, you don't get separate power cables. You know, like in a, in a more advanced power supply, like this is a titanium uh, 850 watt, you know, you get these individual connectors, which is really nice, because you can kind of choose which cables you actually want to keep in your kit or not. But the lower end boards, or lower end power supplies, everything's usually together. So last thing in here is just, looks like four screws for attaching this to a case. Let's got some bubble wrap going on it here. It just slides out. There it is. Okay, this is nice. Uh, it's got a little grill on here. Cooler Master. It's got a little more solid feel than uh, the EVGA white that I was just playing with. So, but pretty similar. Yes, this is a bronze, bronze level, 500 watt. $65 range. Let's look at the cables here. So we've got motherboard, and we've got PCIe, so that would be like your video card. You've got your CPU. SATA cable, second SATA, and then old school four pin power supply. So like this, I mean, I'm never gonna use this anymore, right? So like, it's kind of annoying. You can't really, I mean, you probably could go in there and take it out somehow, but, and I'm not gonna need six SATA cables. So that's one thing about these you know, lower end power supplies is you just kind of got to deal with all these extra cables that you're never going to use. Or you might use one of the PCIe's, right? Uh, but like I like M2 connections for most of my, my builds for a solid state drive. So probably not even going to use the SATA except for maybe for setup. So, but that's all right. Um, I can see myself using this for a budget build. Um, and for 65 bucks, it's not bad. Um, it, it does have it like a better solid feel than some of the other budget ones I've looked at. So and it's a little more expensive, um, but not much. So, all right, let's well, Cooler Master uh, Bronze uh, 500 watt power supply. Now let's put it back in the case.